And we're joined by Tobias Blaskovitz at this event. Explain to me, what is going on? It's mayhem in here. Yeah, so this is a yearly event that we host in the school district. It's a uh, district sumo bot competition. So the idea is that students build a robot. Um, a lot of them are built out of Legos, but we have some other schools doing innovative things this year with Arduinos and micro bits and things like that. Uh, but the concept is they build a robot and they battle in a ring and the goal is to push the other robot out of the ring. So and I it's a best of three competition. So I see lots of different physical designs and also they're programming how their bot actually performs. Yeah, so there are sensors involved. So there's a light sensor which tries to keep the bot in the ring, sensing the difference between dark and light. And then there's an, usually an ultrasonic sensor or an infrared sensor of some sort, which is meant to detect the other bot. So the idea is to basically seek and destroy the other bot while staying in the ring. So it's on a five second timer, and after it's on a five second timer, it immediately goes forward. All right. Oh, you already lost your stuffy, but that's all right. That's now all it's, right. Now look, it's going after that other one. Now it's going after the other one, but it was originally supposed to program to go on all the edges on the sides, and then, whoop. So that one needed some help. Okay, so, yeah. So are you pretty happy with how it's going? I'm how it's really worked? happy of how it worked out so far. Well, I've only won one out of three matches, but the thing is, um, I, I have just figured out how to uh, make it turn around like that, and in the speed of things, I think I've just learned how to easily code one of these things. Ultimately, it's about the opportunity for the kids, and that's what we're excited about. You know, any chance to show a glimpse of what, you know, future careers or future learning in engineering or robotics might be for these kids at a young age is, is what this competition is all about. Getting them inspired and, and uh, into coding and robotics. We just won our last battle, so. All right. Yeah. So you met, you've, you've managed to fix it for the time being? Yes. All right, well, good luck. Hopefully it doesn't break. Did it get damaged today? Thank God not. No, it's, so it's still solid, is it? Yeah. So have you had any competitions yet? Yes. How are you doing? We tied one, won one, and lost one. Okay, so you're right in the mix. Yeah. And so have you enjoyed doing this? Yeah, I did it last year, and I'm really happy that I got to do it with my brother this year. What do you think about what you've seen here today? Oh, it's awesome. This is my kind of third year being involved with this, and, uh, you know, like every time it amazes me some of the, some of the, cool innovations that the kids come up with like we've seen everything from spinning I'm gonna call them weapons but things to try and knock the other bot out to uh, tanks to like things that plow the bot out of there but some are fast bots some are slow bots just so the the opportunities and the options for kids design and creativity is it's endless all right thanks for telling us about yes. it Tobias thank you and thank you for watching Kelowna now